All right, what's up? We're back on the Tahoe 100,000 mile service. Today's mission is going to be to service the transfer case. I've got a couple quarts of Auto Track 2 here because mine is four wheel drive, not all wheel drive. Apparently, the all wheel drives take a different type of fluid. And I've also got my transfer pump. So, I'm going to get this thing up in the air. You know the spiel. You can do it on the ground. I can do it on the ground. But you get a better view when I put this thing up in the air. So looking at this on the driver's side, kind of like right underneath the driver's seat almost, is the transfer case. Now this plug right here is your check and fill plug. And this plug right here is the drain plug. That's kind of where we're at. All right, so let's just say we wanted to check this uh, transfer case fluid. I've got an 18 millimeter socket on a 3 8 ratchet. Now I'm just going to pull this plug out just a little bit. I've had a couple of these where the transmission fluid was leaking into the transfer case. So when you take this uh, check plug out, I mean, fluid would just pour out of there. So I've got a white zip tie, just gonna dip her down. And if I remember right, the bottom of this check plug is the fill level. And you can kind of tell we definitely got enough fluid in there. So moving on to the service of this, we've got the check fill plug out first. And we're just going to take our 18 mil, take out this uh, drain plug. I've just got a little piece of cardboard here. I hope you can see that. Wow, that looks nice and blue, huh? Wrong. It looks like brown. I don't think this has ever been done before. So we're going to let him chill out right here, drain all his juice out, and we'll be back. So after about five minutes or however long it takes to smoke a cig, this thing's down to a little dick trickle. Get him back in there. I post up the torque spec, but whatever it is, I don't follow it. Didn't do nothing crazy. Now, filling these things up can be a bitch. You can see I have to reach pretty much over this cross member right here just to get a straight shot at the fill plug. Now there's a lot of different ways to get something up in there to pump it in, but I'm gonna use our little cheapy transfer pump from Larkin. I'm not sponsored by Larkin or anything. This is just something that I got. I got this at Tractor Supply, and I've seen it posted you know, from AutoZone or Advanced Auto or whatever. It runs about 15 bucks. Well, I'll throw up a link in the description for this. But this is just a very basic cheapy transfer pump. The top one here is our intake. The end of this hose is going to go into a bottle of Auto Track 2. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to route the bottom hose, which is the outlet. Just going to fish him up here over this cross member and right into the transfer case. This wood's probably going to get ruined, but I'll sacrifice it for the cause. Wash, rinse, repeat, pretty much. Oh, <laughs> take that, Morpheus. I wouldn't be saying take that, Morpheus, because I would 
be on Morpheus' side, obviously. Take that, architect. All right. Let's see where we're at. Whoa. Look at that. Didn't even fuck up my particle board. Word. So it looks like two quarts was enough to at least get this thing up high enough where it's just going to pee out. I'm about to double check this. We'll go on the computer here in a minute and double check it. But I'm pretty sure that the bottom of the fill plug is the full level. You know what I mean? We'll give that motherfucker a minute to sit here and, and do its thing. We'll go ahead, put our check fill plug back in. Looked at the spec for this. It says 15 foot pounds. That's for both the drain and the fill plugs. And why the hell didn't Trinity come back and fly a motorcycle right through this shop and grab that thing in midair before it hit the pan? That feels like 15 foot pounds. Cool, so we should be good for another 50,000 miles on this thing. Fill the transfer case to the bottom of the fill plug hole with Auto Track 2 transfer case. This is right from GM service information. If you want to be specific, it's document ID number 814361. So it's not, you know, put in a predetermined amount or whatever. Fill the transfer case to the bottom of the fill plug hole with Auto Track 2. Let's go back. Fuck you. Go back to specifications. Approximate fluid is two quarts. So it's just saying approximately you're going to need two quarts to fill up this motherfucker. You know what I mean? So how often should this be done? Well, right in our owner's manual for four wheel drive vehicles, change transfer case fluid. 50,000, 100,000, 150,000. This has a 50,000 mile interval for doing this transfer case fluid. I bought two quarts of auto track fluid for $17.04 online. And I'm going to also add the price of the pump into this because getting it in using other means is doable, but I don't think it's right to say, hey, we needed a special tool, but I'm not going to factor it in to make it look like this was cheaper than it was. It's kind of like how I added plug wires to the total when I did the plugs. So I had $17.04, and we're just going to guesstimate right about $15 for one of those pumps, bringing our grand total to... 3204. We'll come in here. 3204. I'm going to put a notation here. Plus transfer pump. Now the cool thing about this transfer pump is we're going to be able to use it to also do our front and rear differential services. So our grand total as of today right now is 198.34. So, so far we're doing pretty damn good here as far as how much we've got into this 100,000 mile service. We are going to skip the transmission service for now, move on to the differentials, get them out of the way, and come back to the trans service. And there's a reason for that. So there you have it, 03 to 06 Tahoe transfer case service, and also how to check the fluid level. Thanks for watching. If you like what you see, subscribe and all that.